Catherine. Oh no, nah, just you know why I did it? Okay, my man, my man Raymond T brought the opportunity to the table in the regards to the Troy Ave situation. So, um, I thought it was dope. I thought it was something that was it, it, it's not of the norm. You know what I mean? I feel like everybody goes out and they get baby bash features or they get um, you know, whoever you know, the people that are here. You know what I'm saying? So, I thought it was a it, it was a dope opportunity to um. Just, you know, bring something different to the table, you know what I'm saying? And not only that, like, showcase my talent along with, you know, he's definitely one of the bigger rappers out right now. He's a hot rapper that's out right now. So I wanted to, be, you know, let the people see my talent alongside with some of the biggest rappers out here right now. And, and that way I could sh showcase my talent, you feel what I'm saying? Straight up. And, uh, you know, I've, I'm confident in what I did on the song. I think it's really dope. And I'm going to put that out there. Um... With Benny the Butcher, I reached out. He he reached back. We were supposed to do a uh, a feature. Uh, I was trying to get him in the studio. I think it was like Friday night. We couldn't do it because, like I said, I didn't even realize how big he was. You know what I mean? Because, like, I, you know, if I like a rapper, I've watched them for their talent. I'm, I, you know, numbers is numbers, but I don't really pay attention to it like that. Yeah, the new pop, the new pop tape was dope. I, I um. I got a couple of, of his joints, you know what I'm saying? He's a rapper that I listen to, so when the opportunity arose, I thought it would be ill because, like I say, I don't I don't rap with dudes because they're popular or because people like them. That's what's up, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, uh, I'll hit you later, uh, I'm sick. I don't, I don't just rap with people because they're popular, I rap with them because I can, you know what I'm saying? And, and because, you know, I'm not, I'm not looking to just be around somebody because they're popular, like... I want to rap with people that I feel have talent, people that are dope rappers, and, and I want to put my talent next to dope rappers. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I reached out to him. He couldn't make it that night, and then uh, we were having a hard time getting an engineer, and then he was, like I said, he was at Coachella. I didn't even realize he was performing at Coachella. So um, it was just, you know, bad timing, I guess. I wanted to put that song in the album, too. It didn't make it. But we definitely gonna do something in the future because the contact's already been made. So be be on the lookout for that. You know what I mean? And I fuck with like West Side Gun, all that whole movement. You know what I'm saying? I think it's they make dope music. Oh, um, another collaboration I got be on the lookout. That's West Up G. You already know is um the Tyrant record. Me, Tyrant, and uh and uh and Pugs 805. So be on the lookout for that collaboration too. I'm gonna be dropping that one and um. You know, getting ready to shoot some more videos. Um, I got a song on the on the project that has Jake and Papa on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot a video with them. You see what I'm saying? And just, you know, keep it moving, keep it moving, close out the year strong. You know what I'm saying? What y'all trying to hear from me? Who you who who y'all think I should collaborate with out here though? You know what I'm saying? Like if y'all want to hear me collaborate with somebody, let me know. Drop a line on me. And if I can make it happen, I will. I'm definitely in collaboration mode right now. You know what I'm saying? What up? What up? Oh, shout out to the whole Latin Beast movement. Shout out to Latin Beast TV. Shout out to American Dope Boy. You already know. What up, what up? Okay, well, check it out, man. I'm about to tune up. Hold up, your boy. Shout out to your boy, Mary Skull. I don't know how to pronounce that. Chicano rapper, any rapper, it don't matter. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, um, I don't seclude myself to just Chicano rap or, 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 um, you know, whatever. You should collab with Drummer Boy. We was trying to get that to happen, too, um. That's something that'll happen in the future. We wasn't able to make it happen this album. So that's cool. But, you know, we'll get that in very soon. You know what I'm saying? I already, you know, contacted him. We talked and all that. So, you know, once the contact is made, then it's all good. You know what I mean? Um, people got things to do. So sometimes the the uh, the agendas don't, don't uh, not the agendas, but the schedules don't add up. But, you know, that's nothing. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to definitely keep doing my thing. CeeLo, that's right. I mean, you know there is. I mean, we know that. I mean, come on now. Of course we know that. 
You know what I mean? They've been sleeping, but you got to understand. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know, if they're they going to sleep, they're going to sleep. You know what I'm saying? It, it don't matter. That doesn't mean that I'm going to stop making quality music. You know what I mean? Because they can't stop it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they could try to ignore it or they could try to put a a, a cover on it. Frank V would be dope on a collab. I would like to uh, collab with Frank V. I wouldn't mind collabing with him. Um, but at the end of the day, the music keeps coming and it keeps coming quality. And, uh, you know, as far as features are concerned, like I can go out and get a lot of features, different features from different people and, and big name features. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what? I've never met Nipsey Hussle, but I'm confident if I really was, was focused on it, I could go get a feature from Nipsey Hussle if I really wanted it. You know what I mean? I just got to, um, look, yeah, you know, people don't understand. Hey, what's up, baby? Thank you for checking in. Itty bitty 505. Um, all this shit is all mental, bro. Like this shit is, this shit is all you got to do is put your mind to it. Like put it this way. I put, I thought of this name. I put it on a sweater. People bought it. You feel what I'm saying? Like I sell t-shirts to people and people buy them. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's quality stuff, some that I created. So as long as you, 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 you can come up with quality concepts and, and you have people that support you. I don't, I don't care if they sleep or not. You know what I mean? Because I'll be 100 with you. I don't have a million followers, but I'm probably making more money than a lot of the dudes with a lot more followers. Because what about Sad Boy or Wicked? From, I, I would like to do a song. I'll do a song with Sad Boy for sure. Straight up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't need a feature to make a dope song because... My music and my catalog speaks for itself. I make dope songs regardless. See, I don't need a feature to make me dope. I go get a feature and I make the feature, you know, we come together as a collective and the song becomes dope as two artists collaborating. Not necessarily me going to get a big name feature so I could sound good. Fuck all that. I don't need that. I always thought the DFE movement. Yeah, I mean, that was another scenario that I was a part of that was a big situation in its time. You know what I'm saying? Um, the dollar figure essay movement was a huge movement that could have been something great, but you know, at the end of the day, the people that were managing that situation didn't know what the fuck they were doing. You know what I mean? I, I you know what I think about him that I won't even answer that question because it doesn't exist to me. Um, so with that being said, you know, DFE could have been a huge movement. You got to think our first video got over a hundred thousand views on. Um, World Star Hip Hop before World Star Hip Hop was a big conglomerate. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, bro. I appreciate that. That's love right there. I still be bumping the Valkyrie tape. Yup. I, I think I had J Rock on the Valkyrie tape too, right? See, that's what a lot of people don't, a lot of people that are hearing of me now, they think that I'm a new artist. So I, I hear a lot in the conversations like, oh, he ain't got enough features or he ain't got enough that. But it's like, bro, I've been doing this for so many years. You can go back to like, the dollar figure essay movement. I I had records with everybody big at that time. I had records with uh, J Rock. I had records with Hot Dollar. I had records with Gorilla Black, um, La La. Anybody who was somebody at that moment in hip hop in LA, I had records with them. You feel what I'm saying? Fast forward to the Valkyrie. I had I had records with motherfucking Rocket, with Glasses Malone. You know what I mean? I was a part of Glasses Malone cap. Like I, I had records from Glasses Malone when he had. When he still had a celebrity, when he was a big artist, you feel what I'm saying? Um, me, him, and Omar Cruz had a big record that we dropped. So, I mean, I've survived through all these fucking little categories of Los Angeles Mexican rap, I guess you could say. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. You know, if they sleeping, it, whatever. You know what I mean? My legacy will, will, will speak for itself when it's all over and done with it because I'm bringing talented music to the table. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know anybody, if, if somebody's telling you that my shit's whack, then they hating, they hating, you know what I mean, straight up, because, I mean, I'm not the only person saying it, I got, I got some of the biggest hip-hop outlets in the country that, that co-signed my last album, you know what I'm saying, you, you feel what I'm saying, so it's like, my streaming lagging, I just did 100,000 on Bad One, we just did 100,000 views, we had 105,000 105, views on, on Bad One right now. So, I mean, I don't know how my streaming is lagging. It Shit, I got 100,000 views on that motherfucker just last week. 
But um, you know, with that being said, you can't, you can't, you know, every artist is gonna blow up, I guess, on their own pace. I mean, right now my career is cool. Like I'm making money off my my clothing. I'm doing shows. I'm going around the country. Like I I don't I don't see how I'm doing bad. You feel what I'm saying? Um, if I'm not the most popular, that's cool. You know what I mean? Um, I'm working towards being the most popular. But if I ain't current day, who cares? I'm making money. I'm getting paid to rap. I'm getting paid for what I do. Motherfuckers are, are um, motherfuckers are paying me for verses. I'm writing songs for some of the motherfuckers you listening to right now. They paying me for that shit, and you ain't even know it. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, there's some rappers on the YouTube right now that got over a hundred thousand views over a song that I wrote for them, and you ain't even know it. You know what I mean? And it's not for me to say who they are. But, like I said, I'm getting paid. You feel me? Ain't nobody getting an any means verse unless they pay me. You feel me? Um, shout out. If, if, if I, All my supporters know that I've given away free merch. But because I've given away so much free merch, my supporters turn right back around and they cop shit from me. And trust me, every time I drop something new, it sells out. So, my money good. You feel me? I know a lot of rappers right now. They got a lot of views. They not necessarily getting no money. That's not their fault. Maybe because they don't know the game or, or they're still learning it. Hey, it is what it is. But all I can say is my money right. Um, and I'm getting paid to rap. You feel me? And what can I say? No, I get you. I get you. I get you. I I, I read it. I read. I, I see that you said the live stream. So you know, don't let these motherfuckers convince you otherwise that. Oh, you know, that fool not big enough or that fool not this or that fool not that. Nah, don't, don't, don't let them, don't let them make you think that shit because my shit good. You know what I mean? I'm, my shit real good. And that's what it is. You feel me? See, y'all got me talking like this now and shit tripping. You feel me? But, uh, <laughs> and, um, yeah, man, like I said, you know, I addressed that whole, the, the, on the last live when I, when I seen, uh, when I seen somebody talking about, you know, that I was, I was native and, you know, I'll say it again because that, that, uh, that live erase, but, and my man's is going to post this. So I'll be like this, right? I ain't never been ashamed to say that I'm native. You know what I mean? It says the shit on my bio. My mama is native. My daddy is Mexican, but you stupid motherfuckers. Like I said before, what the fuck do you think a Mexican is? A Mexican is, is, is really a native, bro. You wasn't a Mexican until the Spaniards came over here, raped your people and colonized your people and made people talk the language and all that. Bro, motherfuckers wasn't speaking Spanish until Spaniards came and invaded this place. You know, my reservation has a, has a, 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 a Spanish, a, a, a Spanish, um, a church on it. It, it, it has a, uh, you know what that means? That means that my people were one of the people that were directly conquered by Spaniards. We have a mission on our land. You feel what I'm saying? So I see a lot of people, they want to downplay this. We're not no different, bro. Mexicans, natives is not no different. We're the same motherfucking thing. So don't ever, don't ever try to come at me like I ain't this or I ain't that. You feel what I'm saying? Because if anything, I'm one of the purest forms of it. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up. And, um, you know, I see a lot of people, I see a lot of people that they, you know, they want to downplay other Mexican people because they don't speak enough Spanish, but Spanish not really your language. That's a white man's language. You know what I mean? That's a European language that was forced upon your people when they came and they colonized the whole the whole shit. You feel what I'm saying? We all one, bro. Mexicans, natives, we one people. We all one people. So y'all need to understand that and remember that. And don't ever speak down on me on some ignorant shit because that's one thing I'm not. I'm not ignorant at all. You feel what I'm saying? So 